Hey guys, it's Mr. Walker here, and welcome to, well, I guess this would be a, a tech lesson with Mr. Walker. Sorry, I'm used, used to making math videos here, but uh, I wanted to uh, show you guys real quick. I've, I've heard some things, some concerns about uh, printing um, and whether or not if you and your student um, have access to a printer and you're able to print things out or just the sheer amount of printing that might be involved in a course. So I'd like to offer like a possible solution that you may or may not have seen, and it's, it's by no means an end-all, be-all kind of solution, but it might help fill in some gaps um, for those of you that need it. Um, so feel free to uh, to check this out and uh, share it with whoever you think might need it. Um, I'll put some disclaimers out there though. I don't know exactly how this works with the ELA material. I've only tried it out on the math side of things, but it should work with almost any file type. So as long as they're like PDFs or Word documents or, or something in there, you should be able to access it and uh, and submit in the way I'm going to show you. Um, also, you're going to need if you're if you're a student, you're going to need um, either a smartphone or a tablet or something like that that you can access. Obviously it doesn't have to be yours, but as long as parents will let you access it or you have uh, access to that so you can download an app, um, the Canvas app, then you should be good to go. So let me uh, jump in here and show you what I'm talking about. So this is the, the Canvas app right here. Uh, this one that says student. There is a teacher version as well. If you are a teacher out there watching this and you want to download the teacher version, you could do that. There is also a parent version too for any parents that are interested. It's just a way to kind of um, watch kind of behind the scenes at what you're, on what your student's doing. In the App Store, all you really have to do is search Canvas and you'll see it's uh, about the second option that I see here as a Canvas student. If you go down a little bit further, there's uh, Canvas teacher and also Canvas parent as well. Um, so you could download any of those to uh, to have access to all the Canvas different apps that they have there. This is available on both the iPhone, like the iOS, iPhone and, and iPad and stuff like that. Also, there's an Android version as well. I'm going over the uh, iPhone version because that's what I have here in front of me, but I'm sure the other ones work very similar, similarly to what you're seeing here. So when you open the Canvas app, the first thing it's going to ask you to do is find your school. So I'll, I'll touch on find my school, and then I'm just going to start typing in Pasco because right, we're in Pasco County and there's the first one there, District School Board of Pasco County. That's what we're looking for. So I'm going to touch on that and then you're going to see this familiar screen. This is one you kind of see when we log into uh, My Pasco Connect and all of those things. And since I'm a student right now, I'm going to go in as a student. All right, so I'm going to touch on that first option there. And then you're going to log in using that same username and password you use for everything else. You are your student number and then the password that has the capital letter, the two numbers and the symbol. So it's like a capital letter word. Uh, two numbers and then some sort of symbol. So let me go ahead and log in real quick. All right, once you log in, you should have access to or see all of your courses on this dashboard. Sometimes it might take a little while to load, so you can give it a second. But here's the courses that this student is enrolled in. And I'm gonna go ahead and just go to this fourth grade STEM course right here and open this for an example. Um, again, you can navigate your whole course through this actual Canvas app on the phone, which is great. Uh, but for the purposes of this, I'm showing you guys how you can just um, go and submit something online without having to print it out. So I'm going to go to uh, Modules here, which is where all the work lives, okay? And let's see, I'm just gonna go back here to, uh, let's say Topic D, and if I scroll down, here, this uh, lesson 19 right here, module five, topic D, lesson 19, this debrief, this is an, a, a lesson or an assignment that we actually have to submit. So I'm gonna click on that. And you can see this student already submitted it, obviously, which is great, but we're going to resubmit this for the purpose of this video. And just to show you guys, if I scroll down a little bit here, some questions and stuff like that, and then I have this exit ticket. This is actually like a file that you could download, right? But I'm on the phone, so I'm not gonna download it. What's actually gonna happen is if I touch on this, it's gonna open up that PDF, okay? And this is the exit ticket for math. And I can zoom in, I can scroll around, I can do all that kind of stuff. But the big thing is here is this little marker right here. If I click on this marker, I can edit this PDF, all right? So I can click this pen here and I could write right on it, two plus two equals four. Um, if I wanted to put some text in there, I could type some text, okay? I could do all sorts of things. I could even zoom in if I needed to. So if I needed to get close up on something to really look at it, and or uh, draw on it or underline it or whatever I need to do. You can do all sorts of things in here. I'm not gonna go over each feature available now, but just so you know, there's a lot of different things that you can change and manipulate erasers, lines, links, different things like that. So that's all well and good. So let's say I, I wanted to actually take a break from this. I'm not ready to turn it in yet. I just needed to go maybe watch a video again or check out something else. I can actually go back from this. Okay, now I'm back on that assignment page. And the cool thing is if I click on this again, it brings me back and it's saved all the work that I did here, which is awesome. So let's say I added in, if I had to add in something else, um, 
like my teacher wanted me to draw a smiley face for some reason there we go smiley face now I'm ready to submit everything's done right so I can come up here to this uh, square with the arrow in it that's like our share button I'm gonna click on that and then it's gonna ask me what do I want to share this in like where do I want to send it and I'm going to look down here for that canvas app now mine's already loaded down here if you don't see it the first time you might have to go over here to the more and then it should show you that in the more uh, section and you can go from there but I'm gonna go to the canvas app and the cool thing is it's going to come up here it's going to give me a space where I can cop, uh, type in some comments like hope you like it or whatever and again I'm as the student right now so this is like whatever the student would be uh, would be saying okay and then you can see underneath that it's submitting it to this course SEM grade 4 semester 2 and it's submitting it to this assignment module 5 topic D lesson 19 that's exactly where I'm submitting it I could click on those and change it if I wanted to and pick a different assignment but it will default to the assignment that you're on because if I look up there in the top that's what I'm actually on okay so I could do that it's all set I'm gonna hit submit and there we go I've submitted so now I can go back I can even go back to my modules pick a different assignment do something else if I need to in there okay so on the student side of things that's it that's all they have to do the any assignment that has a piece of paper in it or just really anywhere they could find a piece of paper or, or I'm sorry I shouldn't say a piece of paper any place where they could find a document or something they need to to work on like a worksheet or something like that anywhere you find that you should be able to do that even if I go here to even if I go here to let's see this is just a page it's not not even an assignment but in this page is the problem set so I can click on that problem set and I could do the same thing I can annotate it I could write all over it whatever I need to do then even though it's not on an actual assignment page, I can still go to that share button. Okay, click Canvas. But this time it's not going to give me an assignment because I'm not on an assignment. But I can still click whatever assignment that I want it to be part of. So I would just have to navigate through and go, okay, well, I want to submit this in the evidence of erosion assignment. Click on that and then hit submit and it will submit it for that assignment. Okay, so even if the page, the document that you need to write on isn't in that actual assignment, you could still write on it and then submit it to that assignment just by choosing it from that assignment list. So hopefully that's kind of making sense. So that's the student side of things. That's how they would submit stuff. And again, you can go back and, and view all your modules, view your classes, whatever you need to work through. So the Canvas app in itself is very pretty powerful for students that might not have a laptop or someone who might not have access all the time to a desktop computer or something like that you can still do a lot of work I would say probably 90 percent maybe 80 percent of your work from the phone there might be some things that you might need a computer for to download or run certain programs but I would say most of it you could probably do right from the phone which is pretty awesome um, so there's that there let me show you the teacher side of things okay here on my teacher side of things I'm back on a computer now I could totally do this from the teacher app as well but I just wanted to show you from the computer side of things just for that sake of things but as the teacher if I go into that same course fourth grade stem I'm gonna jump right down to that lesson or uh, lesson 19 here that debrief and you can see I have a new submission in here so I'm going to go to my speed grader and here's my new submission as you can see there's that 2 plus 2 equals 4 that I wrote in the circle that I made even my happy smiley face is there so everything's good there so on the on the teacher side of things you're gonna see exactly what they drew on that paper the cool thing is here too on my side of things as the teacher now I can go in and add stuff as well like, like I can add eyebrows to the happy face there or different things if I wanted to obviously annotate like on some of the work or some different things like that I could do that and back on the student side of things they should see those same annotations those same notes on their side of things as well so hopefully this helps to, to clear some things up to give you guys a different option as far as not having to download and print everything out and then take pictures to submit it if it's a file within canvas anywhere in canvas in your modules or anything like that you should be able to annotate it using the canvas app okay so download and use that app um, if it helps, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, there's a lot of links within the Canvas uh, site itself. I'll try to put those in the description of this video as well, so you can link to those articles if you need them. But uh, please feel free to reach out if you have any other questions, comments, or concerns. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Talk to you soon.